I'm environmental director at NRG for the Maryland region. Uh, General Men Atlantic and NRG Chalk Point, subsidiaries of NRG Energy, are pleased to offer their comments on the air regulation proposed by MDE and COMAR 11, 261138. NRG Chalk Point owns and operates a Chalk Point facility, while Genon Mid Atlantic operates at Dickerson and Morgantown facilities in Maryland. NRG's Maryland stations employ approximately 500 people, and we have seven coal fired generating units there, and they total 2,500 megawatts of electricity at these three stations. The proposed regulation is very stringent and will challenge us like never before. Regrettably, it appears that coal-fired power plants have continued to be the primary focus for further emissions reductions, even though Maryland's power plants have reduced NOx emissions by 75% since 2002, and ozone season NOx has dropped over 55% in just the last five years. Over 80% of the electricity generated by our fleet in Maryland is produced by units that have the state-of-the-art SCR controls uh, installed. Emissions from coal plants now comprise less than 10% of the state's total NOx inventory, while air quality in the state is the cleanest it has been since 1980. Mobile sources and transport from upwind states are now by far the largest sources of ambient ozone in Maryland. While this regulation is one of the most stringent in the nation, uh, the current proposal includes several significant improvements over the December 2014 version of the rule. The addition of Section 04B4, known as Option 4, provides the means for our plants to operate as a fleet in exchange for emissions reduction requirements years earlier than the original regulation required, as well as very stringent daily NOx limits to meet in 2020. The electric system reliability provision in Section 07 is another important enhancement to the regulation since it helps avoid power shortages when the grid is operating at critical levels. Several claims have been made as to whether the current regulation is more or less stringent than the initial 2014 proposal. NRG retained Environ, a nationally recognized environmental consulting firm, to compare the two versions of the regulation. Environ's analysis found the current regulation to be more stringent than the 2014 version and identified flaws in a prior third-party analysis that con concluded that the current proposed regulation was less stringent than the 2014 version. Environ's report uh, was going to be attached with our comments. Uh, NRG appreciates the considerable effort MDE and other stakeholders have put into the regulations to date. From the start of this effort, NRG has earnestly engaged in the stakeholder process to develop new regulations that achieve air quality objectives while, as Governor Hogan said, providing flexibility to support a healthy economy and to protect jobs. Any further tightening of this rule would force premature shutdowns of generating units, cause unnecessary loss of jobs up to 250 at our, at our power plants, and potentially impact grid reliability in Maryland. Consumers will continue to use energy, and the loss of Maryland-based generation would be replaced by out-of-state sources that do not have such stringent environmental limits. Our employees, many who have uh, devoted their careers to producing energy in Maryland, would need to have uh, would need to have uh, leave the state to find similar positions and to fit their experience and to support their families. The regulation proposed on September 18, 2015, while much more stringent than existing rules in other states strikes a balance that gives NRG an opportunity to continue to provide Maryland with reliable, competitive priced energy. Thank you for your consideration of these comments. Thank you, Mr. Kramer. 